Hey, hi, welcome to my civil life. How are you doing? Compliments of the season. I'm really excited and really, really happy that the Lord has brought us to a new year. And it is my prayer that this year will be a year where you would have tangible testimonies in the name of Jesus. Welcome to Massive Light. I'm happy to be with you. I'm excited that you have joined me today again. And it is my prayer also that at the end of this program, we shall have full cause to give glory to God and we shall also have our hearts steered in the direction in which God wants to take us through in this year, 2023. Let us quickly pray before we begin this program. Lord, we thank you. We ask in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that even as we go into your word, Lord, that you speak to us. Thank you, O oh God, in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. So what does God have for us today? What, does, what is God saying to us as his children? What does God want us to do in the year 2023? As I was preparing for this program, the only thing I was um, hearing in my spirit is that you should learn to crawl before you walk. So today we shall be talking about crawling before working. Now you may have had very big visions and big dreams in the year 2022 of which many you were not able to achieve and then some you were able to achieve. But in this year, 2023, the Spirit of God is saying that you should not despise your little beginnings. The Spirit of God is saying, yes, you can have those big dreams. He is saying that um, you shouldn't despise those big visions that you have. But he's also telling you that you should learn to begin small. You should learn to begin gradually. When a child is born, the child doesn't even start walking the same day. The child begins to first crawl. After crawling, then he begins to, to walk. After walking, then he begins to run. And then after, after, after running, he can fly, if that is possible. So God is saying to you that even in your big dreams and your big visions and all, in all of the things that you have to do for yourself in 2023, you should not despise your days of little beginnings. He is saying that you should itemize the things you would like to do and then begin gradually. He's saying that when you begin slowly, he is going to be there to guide you in your learning process. He's saying that it is easier to learn to do big things when you begin gradually. He's saying that he who is faithful in the little things will be faithful in much. The Bible says in the book of Zechariah, Zechariah chapter 4 and verse 10, it says, For who have despised the days of small things? Who has despised the day of small things? In, 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 in um, New Living Translation, it says, Do not despise the small beginnings, for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. Do not despise the day of small beginnings, for the Lord is excited to see the work begin. He's saying in this new year, 2023, that all of your visions and your dreams and everything you will love to get, that he's going to be interested in seeing you start. The business you have in your mind will cost you 10 million. How about starting with, with the 1,000? How about starting with the 10,000 that is in your account? He's saying that you can begin small. He's saying that as you begin small, he's going to expand you. He's saying that he loves to see the work begin. This is what the Spirit of God is saying for you, child of God in 2023. Learn to crawl before you walk. If a man wants to get married, he first of all sees a very beautiful lady and then he doesn't immediately tell the lady, I would like to get married to you. That would be, that would be absurd. That would be funny. The girl will not even listen to him. But first, he begins with little steps. First tells the girl, oh, please, can I have your phone number? He tells her, um, can, can we be friends? And then gradually begin to get to know themselves. You know, they, they, they begin to hang out. They begin to do several things together to the point where he's, begin, he, 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 he's not able to profess his love. To this person so this is what god is saying to us in 2023 that we should begin with the little steps S begin with the little steps in the book of ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 the bible says for everything there is a season for everything there's a season a time for every activity under heaven for everything there is a season for everything there is a season child of god in this year itemize everything you would like to achieve itemize all of it but do not despise the days of little beginnings. God has assured us that in this year we shall prosper. 
He has told us that this year it shall be easy for us. But he's also telling us today that we should not despise the days of little beginning. God is telling us that this day you should begin small. Let's take the little steps. When I was in junior secondary school, there was a poem we, we used to read. The, the poem says, little drops of water makes a mighty ocean. Little drops of water makes a mighty ocean. Why should you begin small? Even as I begin to round up on this program today, why should you begin small? You should begin small because when something is so much, there is a tendency or there is a chance for you to get overwhelmed when something is so much. There's a chance for you to get overwhelmed. But when you begin something gradually, you have the opportunity to learn. You have the opportunity to, to, to gather so much knowledge about this particular thing that you're trying to start. So that is why God is encouraging us to start small. He's saying start small. He wants us to accumulate all the knowledge. The Bible says my people perish for lack of knowledge. My people perish for lack of knowledge. It is because you don't have knowledge in these things. That is why when you try to go into it with all the full force and everything, it collapses. So God is encouraging us to start small. He wants us to begin gradually. He wants us to take the little steps. He wants us to trust him even in the little things while he takes us to the bigger heights. This is what God is trusting us to do in this year 2023. He's saying, my son, if you begin little, I'll be here. I will hold your hand. My daughter, if you begin small, I will hold your hand. I will guide you. I will lead you in the way in which you must go. Hallelujah. I'm so excited for the mighty things God is going to do with us in this year, 2023. I'm so excited. God has assured me that this year is going to be brilliant. This year is going to be is going to be better than last year. But God is asking you to start small. God is saying you should write out your plans. I've been saying two things. Write out your plans, itemize it, and then start with little steps. Start gradually. And I see God, I see God expanding us and making us mighty. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear whatsoever it is that you have learned from today's program, your contributions. Please don't forget to share this program. Share it, share it, share it so that many people can be blessed also. I would also like for you to drop your comments. I would also like for you to drop your likes and your reactions whatsoever it is on this program. May God bless us in Jesus' mighty name. Let me quickly pray with you, Lord, and thank you for all my friends that have joined on today's program. Lord, I'm asking the name of Jesus that you bless their hearts. Thank you, eternal of ages, because you will do that which only you can do. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Until I come here again, same time next week, my name is Toby and I love you so much. Bye-bye.